it's been just terrific. Uh, we have actually been here two weeks today. Uh, our players are uh, have absolutely been uh, great and have been very receptive to change and to and to, to learning the, the new offense and new defense. Uh, it, I never thought we would have be able to have this much done in, in about 10 practices, but uh, been able to get my coaching staff almost about 80% filled, and so it's been a tremendous two weeks. It was a, about a six-day window. I, I got a call from uh, Dr. Wellman on a Saturday to visit with her on a Friday, and uh, we had some preliminary talks. Uh, about three days later, uh, I got a call to ask to have a formal interview on a Thursday. Uh, later that night, I was uh, I was offered the job, and uh, the next morning, uh, actually the, the next afternoon, I met the players, and so it was going to win. Uh, it, I've been coaching 27 years. This is. Uh, been a kind of a, uh, a silent, to have publicized a whole lot of this kind of a silent dream of mine uh, for my entire career. So that I, one of my hopes is that I would at some point have a chance to coach here at Westlake High School. Well, back when back when he was living, you know, we, we talked about it all the time. We talked about, uh, of course, I, as a young coach, I was here and around the, the, the program a lot. My children spent their summers here at Westlake going to camps and everything, spending time with their grandparents. Uh, Coach Neptune not only was my father-in-law, but he was a tremendous mentor to me as, as when I was a young coach, and I learned so much from him. Well, we've got certain certain objectives that we wanted to get done in our in our 11 practices that we had. Uh, really, we just want to see us polish it up a little bit. I want to see you guys get after it, compete, uh, put on a good show for the fans, stay healthy, uh, get everybody in, get everybody on some good video for a, for a last. You know, really, it's a uh, it's going to be a spring game, but it's really our last practice, and so we want to we want to be sharp, we want to be uh, be efficient, uh, and you know it'll be our last time before we practice on August 11th. So it's an important day. Well, it'll be. Uh, there has been a lot of evaluation, uh, a lot of competition for positions right now. It will be a little bit more streamlined when we start fall practice. The varsity will practice with the varsity. The JV will practice with the JV, and the freshman will practice with the freshman. Right now, we kind of mix and mingle all of them and trying to get a look at everybody and get us a chance as a new staff to get a chance to evaluate. Uh, we will continue to be battling for positions in the fall, but uh, you know those teams, because of spring football, we'll, we'll pretty much have about 90% uh, idea of what our varsity JV and freshmen will look like. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an upbeat guy. I'm a positive guy. I let our players know this is who I am. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I've been doing pretty much you establish who you are. Uh, I like, you know, our players, I think we're starting to understand that there are certain things that, that really, really upset me, and and uh, and I let them know what they are and so we can stay away from those things, you know. But uh, I, I think on the big picture things, uh, you know, I, uh, we'll get all over players sometimes and, and get upset at them, but we're going to love them up before they leave the practice field. Well, uh, I don't know about changing. One thing, I'm just thrilled to be at a, a place that, uh, that has such great traditions, Westlake. I was telling our seniors, about a week ago, one of the great things about coming to a place like this is a guy like me never thinks about having to change the helmet or change the uniforms. I mean, there's such great tradition here. You know, one of the things I'm doing, I'm kind of evaluating and uh, and uh, and fact finding on maybe any traditions that somewhere may have gone by the wayside that are important to people around here, and uh, you know, and finding out what they are, and, and then just honoring, you know, the the great coaches and the great teams that have come before us. I, you know, I want to send a message to to all of our ex players that. If, if they haven't been back in a while, come back and, and, and enjoy the place that they helped build.